She is a Hunkpapa Lakota water warrior. She's actively stood against the methanol plant in Tacoma. She's a water protector at Standing Rock, and she stands against the LNG. And now she is a youth strike speaker for Climate Everywhere, and she's also a Native Daily Network youth coordinator. So without further ado, here's Mariah. Shout out to the Dolage people whose lands we are on tonight. Hello, on Hebe Washta and Mutakiyaki. Good evening, good evening, my relatives. My name is Mariah. I am Hook Papa Lakota from Steady Rock. I've been a frontline warrior for our Mother Earth for a few years now. Because of that, I normally talk about the environment. I am a proud water protector. Thanks to my people's fight against Apple, I learned that water is life. So today I am challenged to talk about life. I am only 10 years old, so some of you might be wondering what someone as young as me knows about life. It is a fair question. <laughs> Let me tell you that I hope to learn a lot more about life in the future. But I do know that because I'm indigenous, I have a target on my back. We know that our brothers and our sisters that live on remote reservations are in a constant fight to survive from themselves because sometimes hurt each other, but, but mostly from the people who see us as worthless and as easy targets. As a water protector, I have learned how dirty pipeline and fracking projects affect our people more than any others. What we have left of our home is being taken and destroyed. We are seen as worthless and as easy targets. With these projects, so is our Unchimaka, our beautiful grandmother earth. With the man camps that come with those projects, our sisters are going missing. So often that it is hard to catch our breath before we hear about another, then another, and another. It never stops. I also grew up here in the Pacific Northwest, and I am also Coast Salish. I have learned that over 71% of natives live in urban areas, like me. I wish I could tell you how many of us are hurt, raped, beaten, or killed in urban areas. But do you know what else happens to our people? They deny our existence. I need to tell you that being a water protector means being a life defender. I'm an indigenous female protector of life, and I know firsthand that I have to fight for life. You see, one week from today, it will be the 19th of December. Just six short days before many people will be sharing special moments with their families. For my family, it will mark four years since my uncle, President Stafford, was shot and killed in the Piala Reservation in Tacoma. He was Nez Perce and Seneca. I have learned from my grandparents and Uncle President's brother, my daddy, that my uncle really loved me. I was six when he died, but for some reason, I don't really remember him. He had a low voice and long hair. Little bits are there, but the memory <coughs> is fading. Preston was shot by another indigenous man. Sometimes we hurt each other. I won't get to know Uncle Preston because he's indigenous. I won't get to feel his love because he's indigenous. There is a target on our backs because we are indigenous. 
But you know what else I have learned about being a water protector? When we are faced with something that seems scary and horrible, we find our fears. Maybe you can help me finish this line. What do we do when our people are under attack? Stand up, fight back. Say it again. What do we do when our people are under attack? Stand up, fight back. Please, stand up and fight back so I might get to know enough about life to talk about it someday. Palamele, thank you.